Hey guys, it's Adrian RBHJ here bringing you a new video. So the great folks over at Maros uh, sent me over their all new smart home plug to show you guys. So this thing has several cool features. One of them is it's matter enabled, which makes this thing perfect uh, with all the new devices coming out, supporting matter and matter across multiple platforms. It makes communication with all your smart home devices that much better. But this thing also has energy monitoring as well, which is pretty cool because you can see the stats of whatever devices you're plugging in and how much power is actually being used. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now you can pick this thing up straight from Meros for around 20 bucks for just one plug. But, but you can also pick it up from Amazon on Meros' storefront for about 18 bucks for a single plug. And they even have two packs and four packs as well. So you're definitely going to want to take advantage of whatever deals. And depending on how many plugs you need, Amazon is a place to pick them up. But we're going to see what all this plug can do and maybe even see if we can get it set up with Home Assistant as well. So without further ado, Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna open up this uh, box here. And Maros does a pretty good job with the marketing on the outside of the box. It's a pretty small form factor box. I don't expect a lot to be inside here. And you can see here we got the plug itself button there on the side and the design of this uh, plug makes it pretty simple for you to be able to possibly plug two of these into a single wall outlet uh, so that's pretty nice other side has the QR code for uh, installing it into your various apps but other than that you have the instructions for getting everything set up and that's about it so let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll get this plug added into the Maros app So when you talk about installing it, there isn't much you really have to do uh, other than just plug in the uh, smart plug. Uh, but then we have to get it added into the Meros app. And the great thing about that is there isn't much that you have to do there either. So here we are in the Meros app. Uh, we're just gonna hit the plus in the top corner and then we need to select device. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose smart plug here. Uh, the model we are looking for, remember, is the MS315 or MS315. Uh, so we can select that here and then we'll hit next. And now, uh, if this is a brand new plug, it should already be in pairing mode, but you can double check that here. Uh, the LED should be flashing and mine is, so we'll go ahead and hit next here as well. So it kind of runs through the basics here. Uh, make sure that we do have a matter enabled plug and that it has the QR code on the side, which it does. Uh, we do need to be on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi because this plug will not support five gigahertz. Uh, we have to have Bluetooth enabled. Uh, once we do all that, we can hit next and then we're going to scan that QR code uh, and it should start uh, adding the plug. We're gonna say add to home here and give it a little bit of time to finish. And boom. So we can select a room that that plug uh, will be associated with. I'm just gonna say living room here. And then we can change the name if we want. I'm gonna call it Meryl's Smart Plug uh, and then I'll choose outlet as the display type and we are pretty much done and you can see we got it added at least to the home app it says it's not in the marrow app but tells me how to kind of fix that so we can take care of that and it looks like now we have a firmware update so i'll go ahead and fast forward through that but as you can see, we got the plug added into the app. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and I'll go over the config options in the app.
And so here we are on the main screen for the plug and you can see I'm not currently using any power at all. Uh, I was charging my iPad on here earlier. Uh, you can see in the graph there in the middle that it was actually uh, charging earlier today. There was power going through there. It's pretty cool because uh, I haven't been using this plug very long at all, but you can see over time, I will be able to look at the graph for the whole entire year and see how much power is actually going through it. So that's, that's kind of nice. But that's really all you can do there on the main screen. So let's go up uh, to settings up in the top corner there. Right there at the top, uh, we can change the icon if we wanted to, so that it maybe lines up with whatever we are using the plug for. Uh, we could change the name. Uh, if we want it to be more hidden, we could even turn that status LED off. Uh, let's see, under overheat alert. So this is uh, kind of cool. Basically, you can get a notification if the plug starts to overheat. And you can even choose to have it send a notification and also turn off the power at the same time. It'll do both. Uh, let's see, we have a user manual there. Under notifications, this is where we can enable or disable notifications if we wanted to. You can even have this plug do electricity bill calculation, which is kind of cool. So basically you'd plug in how much you're paying per kilowatt hour and it will determine how much money is being spent with this particular plug. Let's see, we got power monitor mode. So if you are uh, using solar panels, uh, you can put this in um, electricity production mode and kind of calculate the data that way. Let's see, down towards the bottom, we have the device info uh, for this plug. But that's really about it as far as what you can do from within the Meros app on this plug. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and we'll see if we can get this thing added into Home Assistant using Matter. So adding into Home Assistant didn't go as smoothly as I wanted. Uh, when you first click on Add Integration, and choose Add Matter Device, you have two options. Uh, if it's a new device or if it's already in use. And if it's already in use, then you can go into the app that you've already paired it with, share that device from the other app, and then it will allow you to add it into Home Assistant. Or at least it should. I was never able to get it to work. Uh, so basically I had to factory default the plug so that I could then add it into Home Assistant. Not a super big deal. Um, it's possible it just was bad luck on my part, who knows. Uh, nonetheless, we're gonna treat it as a new device here. It of course asks you to scan that QR code on the side, but I'm gonna hit more options. And since it's in pairing mode now, you should already see the device. And like I have done here, there is the MS315 there at the top. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now we just need to add that matter code that's on the side of the plug and hit continue. And that's it. We'll give it a little bit to complete the connection. And there we go. Now we can give it a name if we want. I'm just gonna stick with Meros Smart Plug. And it's now added into Home Assistant. Now the main downside of this is that you only have the ability to control the plug, meaning turning it on and off. Uh, there's no power or energy monitoring data being sent to Home Assistant. So it's kind of disappointing there. But we do have it added into Home Assistant. So let's go ahead and move on to the last step and I'll give you my final thoughts. No matter how you look at it, uh, less than 20 bucks for a smart plug is a pretty sweet deal. And we're talking closer to $17, $18 uh, on Amazon. And you gotta keep an eye on Amazon because I've seen it coming and going. Um, I've checked the website a couple of times and it's been unavailable. I mean, these things are flying off the shelf. I mean, if you think about it being matter enabled and even having power monitoring as well, it makes it that much better. Now, as you saw, we were able to get it added into Home Assistant, but only for control 
we weren't able to get any energy data into Home Assistant. Hopefully at some point that will change and maybe I can do a follow up at that time. But either way, I definitely think it's worth taking a look at. I mean, if you are on the lookout for a smart plug for use at your home, then hit the links in the description below and check out this plug for yourself. As always, I will have links to Maris's homepage as well as their Amazon storefront in the description below. If you aren't interested in this particular product, head over there, see what else they have to offer. I guarantee you'll find something that you do like. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, Head over to my spring merchandise page and check out all of the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And if you're looking for the latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Smonet. I'll have a link in the description below. Head over there and see what deals they currently have running. And if you're looking for the latest smart window treatment, you're going to want to check out Smart Wings. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. Head over there and see what deals they currently have running. And if you're interested in SIM cards for all of your latest smart home gear, you're going to want to check out Eat Club. I'll have a link in the description below for them as well. Head over there and check out all the deals they currently have running. If you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency, you're going to want to check out Rabbithood. I'll have a link in the description below. If you sign up with that link, you and I both will get a free share of stock. It's a win-win for both of us. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.